Hello, everybody. Hey, today we're going to talk about the rental market nationwide and what's happening there. Where are the hot spots that have plenty of jobs, affordable homes, and fun things to do? What do you think is number one? Well, I would think the caveat on the rental market is if you're an investor, where's a good place to buy rental properties right now? Number one market, right? Who do you well, think is number one? We'll see. Well, <laughs> I picked the article. It is Austin, Texas is number one. Austin, Texas? You mean the no-tax state? Well, and I've seen some ar some articles lately about Austin being overbuilt, and they built so many apartments there already that it's overbuilt. But, you know, then Elon decides to move two companies there, and I think the rental market there just got hot again. <laughs> Probably got a little tighter. <laughs> right. Right, so we're talking about the best um, places to live with the, as far as the rents go, They this data is the top 325 cities in the U.S. with a population more than 75,000, um, so the 50 largest metros. So just to give you a little idea of how they picked the cities, and we already talked about number one. So the rent to income ratio, 19.7%. So just under 20% of your income is going to go towards your rent amount. And that's Austin, Texas. That is Austin. So major tech companies like Google, Apple, and Oracle are going there, bustling technology hub. And it is also one of the top uh, rental places for college graduates. So I would think that goes hand in hand with getting a job. Graduate from college, and you go where the jobs are. Jobs are in Austin, Texas. <laughs> then you go rent an apartment, and you go to work. That's right. Average commute time, 26 minutes. Number two, near and dear to our heart, Oklahoma City, Oklahoma. It is the most affordable rental market in the top 10 with a rent-to-income ratio of 17.7%. So, of course, it means you have more money to do fun things like the award-winning restaurants, Oklahoma City Thunder Basketball, Oklahoma City Philharmonic, and, of course, OU Football. Come on, University of Oklahoma, go Sooners. Well, that's 17 miles away. One thing about <laughs> Oklahoma is the fact that it's so large. Really, the largest landmass or area of any city in the lower 48. The others, the others are all in Alaska. Man, do they cover a lot of ground. Mm -hmm. So another reason to visit Oklahoma. Number three, Birmingham, Alabama. Of course, they have top-tier health care, and they have the highest number of vacant rent rentals at 12.3% among the top 10. Wow, Alabama is sure making a lot of lists these days, rentals and all this stuff. What a state. They must be doing something right down there. And uh, number four, San Antonio, Texas. So with their foodie culture and music venues, it's often compared to Austin, but what does San Antonio have? It has the Riverwalk, and they have a military base. They have a military presence there, which always um, is a really great thing for the community. And the rents there are 1240 to 1655 a month. Yeah, the military, they get paid mm -hmm. on a regular basis. Mm-hmm. Uh, number five, Minneapolis. And I had to laugh. They described here, Minneapolis is an outdoor lover's paradise. Well, it is. It's got a <laughs> lot of lakes. There's a lot of stuff going on in Minneapolis. I, it does get cold there in the winter, though. I mean, I had to laugh. I have a cousin that lives there, and I mean, it's like 25 feet of snow. It's crazy. Yeah, but if you're like ice skating and hockey and that kind of stuff. And shoveling snow off your driveway. Shoveling snow, <laughs> slipping on ice. You know, that's always a fun <laughs> Oh, man. So then number six is Sandy Springs, Georgia, which is a suburb of Atlanta. It is 14 miles from Atlanta, so you have a nice mix of things there and all everything that Atlanta has to uh, uh, offer. Average commute time, 27 minutes, so I would guess they're going into Atlanta. Rent-to-income ratio, 23.4%. Wow. that's. Mm -hmm. I mean, those numbers are really pretty low as far as... If you wanted to get a loan and your ratios were down in that percentage rate, you would have no problem. That's right. That's right. Some of the loans today, with the right packages, they'll go up to 50%. Mm -hmm. So 50% of your income goes to buying a home here where you can probably buy a home with some of these ra uh, ratios in some of these locations. I know you probably can in Oklahoma City just because we know that market so well. Right, right. You could uh, you not only rent an apartment, you can buy a house too. That's right, that's <laughs> right. Number seven is Nashville. So, of course, Nashville has been booming the past few years. And, of course, the great restaurants and the nightlife. 
um, the market there is the unemployment rate is 2.9 percent so it's the highest unemployment the lowest unemployment rate on the list of the top 10 tied with Minneapolis so they're the two that have the strongest jobs market well it's very difficult to get less than three percent because three percent of the market's always looking for a job or between jobs or moving up moving down they're always doing something so if you're at 2.9 percent everybody there that wants to work is working yeah nashville has a little bit of a higher vacancy rate 9.2 percent because they've built so much multifamily there in the past couple years you have plenty of things to choose from there in the nashville area if you're a renter the builders are getting very good at building multifamily. Mm -hmm. Number eight, Kansas City, Missouri. So, of course, what are they known for? Barbecue. Um, and it made the top 10 due to their job opportunities and affordability uh, and to attract real estate investors. So, Kansas City, Missouri. It's a great place to invest. We have some friends that have invested heavily there and their returns are phenomenal. Mm -hmm. Number nine is Raleigh, North Carolina. Of course, another high tech hub there. Um, the average commute time in Raleigh, 25 minutes. And that is a potential saving of 43 hours a year of your commute time. Um, Wait, so that's a whole week's worth of work. Uh -huh. Yep. Um, rent to income ratio in Raleigh, 20%. Then number 10, to round out the top 10, Norfolk, Virginia, which is another military hub, um, hub of course. Um, you can see historic battleships, and the Chrysler Museum of Art is there, and it um, is a top rental market, stable market due to the military being there. Yeah, absolutely. The military, they get paid on a frequent basis, and they're renters because they're here today and gone tomorrow, and mm -hmm. I mean, it goes quick there. I've got orders, I've got to get out of Dodge. Well, and it's a beautiful place there too. It's right on the on the water. It really is a, a beautiful place. So the top 10 most competitive markets for rentals, the opposite of affordable, number one, Miami, and it's number one by a landslide. Number two, Chicago, three, North Jersey, New Jersey, which would lead me to believe those are people working in New York. And then our top, the ones in California that made the top 20, number eight was Silicon Valley, uh, excuse me, six Silicon Valley, eight Orange County, nine Eastern LA, and number 18 San Diego. So those are the four in California that made the top 20 list of the most competitive rental markets in the nation. East LA. Like, I know, he said Eastern LA. So that would be, I mean, that's Eastern a... LA County, because I'm surprised it wasn't Western. Yeah, you would think it'd be Western. That's so what I thought. I'm thinking and that's... East LA, that's, uh, that's competitive over there. Oh, well, that's on your way so. to Vegas. Maybe people are trying to get closer to Nevada. <laughs> so anyway, that's our update for today on the rental market in the nation. What's most affordable if you have a college grad or you're thinking about moving or thinking about investing in real estate, you got to go where the people want to go. Yes, go where the people want to go. Go where the deals are. Go where the returns are. And I think ultimately you're going to be very happy with the results. If you're thinking about buying, selling, or investing in real estate, you know what we love to talk about. Real estate, homes and prices, we look at them every single day. So you know where to find us. GaryandLisa.com. Your real estate edge.